One of the quickest ways to build data models in Acaris is to use the new instant link feature. For that, you can just click here um, on the new dimension button. And you have now two dimensions here. Uh, the first one is the traditional Actaris dimension where you can copy and paste data from any source and the new instant link, which allows you to create a dimension from a particular data source. So for example, I can call this here linked accounts and then point to the data source that I've added uh, in Actaris. For example, this one here. And then I can either, in this case, with, this is a relational database and I can use tables and views. So I can point to a specific table, for example, the accounts table, team accounts. And then I have two options. I can either define with a grid the columns that I want to use or select the particular columns that I want. So maybe use the second option here. And this requires two mandatory fields, the ID and the name, to help synchronize the underlying source data. Because this is not a once-off process, but um, you create a link to this data source that is then also automatically updated at a particular time interval. And then the name column. So a column that contains a unique name for the particular element that is human readable. And in addition to these mandatory columns, you can add now as many attributes or columns from this source table as you like. So uh, for example, I could say, I would like to use the account type here. I want to use the account group. Then some special groupings like, for example, cash flow group. And we can leave it at that. So this has created now a new linked dimension. I can see if it's blue, it means it's a dimension with a life link. If it's black, it's a dimension that is physically loaded into a terrace. So I can see here now the columns that I've chosen from the source table, but there's a link established here. So if I click on refresh, this will be updated according to the latest results in the source table. But the cool thing is now that I can extend this table as much as I like. So for example, I can click here on edit dimension. Despite I have a linked table here, I can add columns that don't exist in the source table. So for example, I can say this is a new mapping. And this has added now this new column that you can now populate with all the features in the carries. For example, just with a, a manual edit here or with all the edit features that you have in the Power BI visuals and in Excel. Or you can also load the data through a calculated column. So you could uh, also make this calculated so that um, as opposed to a fixed assignment, you have calculated results here, for example, for classifying depending on the current database state or a variety of other requirements. Uh, another one would be um, multi-language handling, where depending on the chosen language for a user, this would dynamically change them. And then the only thing here left is to save it. Now I've got the automatically updating data from my source table, and I've got the additional column. So you can keep your source intact. The source wouldn't be touched, but the users can still edit everything here, and then also control the update. So I can then set a update cycle and then specify this is an instant link update. I want to do this at a particular time and then just select the tables that I want to update with this refresh. And this would then automatically update the new table, respectively the other ones that I selected at this particular point. So you would update all the data from the source table 
but all the uh, additions that you've made in the terrace, for example, this new mappings table that we've added before, would be still kept in touch. So this is just a quick overview of how you can create data models in a terrace with a linked insta-link table.